Champion. You're watching WGS TV. Gulf Coast Wrestling, where the bad boys play. music. This is a tag team match. And making their way to the ring. Being escorted by oh. the ladies. David Silver and from Bourbon Street, Louisiana, the Monty Garage. G-Money possibly bringing out another incarnation a bad company in the form of David Silver and Mardi Gras. Oh, I know that music. And their opponents making their way to the ring. Being escorted by Shark Bite, on the Animal Planet, the Grizz, and Shark Marty Grunt, David Silver had that workout. We're cut out for them against Grizz and Shark Bait. And Grizz won half of the GCW Abbeville Tag Team Champions with Wild Thing Mikey Boudreaux. I think David Silver needs to be more concerned about his opponents in the ring rather than posing for the camera. Well, that is a shark bite for you. I don't know if I agree with G. Lenny's assessment of shark bite, but referee doing his job here, checking Mardi Gras. I wouldn't put it past Mardi Gras to have a foreign object. Oh. Uh, anyway, here we go in this tag team encounter. Here we go. We've got Mardi Gras and Grizz. These two have had some encounters in the past. Especially last time in Abbeville when Mardi Gras and Gil Guillory tried to take away the tag team titles from Grids and Wild Thing and they were unsuccessful in doing that. Apparently G-Money putting some stock now in David Angel being the new partner of Mardi Gras. And Grizz with that power takes Mardi Gras down with ease. If, if the 
there's one thing Grizz has, and that, that's his overwhelming power and strength. And he felt it right there in that clothesline, sending the veteran Mardi Gras down. And Grizz all over Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras having to regroup on the outside here, as it were. Shark Bite showing his approval of Grizz's action so far in this match against Mardi Gras. Okay, well, you, you heard that, folks. No, no need for me to repeat that. Mardi Gras need to need rethink your strategy against the big old boy from Texas, Grizz. And there, and there's a good strategy right there. Mardi Gras hanging Grizz out to dry over the top rope. Mardi Gras now on the attack. You never give a veteran like him an opening because Mardi Gras will capitalize on it. And here comes David Silver who's been running a lot with bad company. And David Silver with a cheap shot on Sharkbait. That's the uh, last person I would want to try to get a cheap shot on. It's a big old boy. Sharkbait goes down. Sharkbait trying to tend to Sharkbait. And G-Money on the outside choking Chris behind the referee's back. But the referee trying to keep Sharkbait at bay. As again, David Silver, G-Money, and Mardi Gras taking advantage. Sharkbait doing more harm than good, but Grizz firing back. You don't want to trade haymakers with Grizz. That's the last person you want to do it with. Grizz firing back on David Silver. Silver will not. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh! Hello! David Silver, Grizz about a biscuit over 350. Well, he says he's 140 kilograms. And I still say to this, that to this day, that's being kind. Oh, referee nearly got caught, but look at that power by Grizz, muscling him over, tilt a wall into a power slam. Nicely done by Grizz. Referee goes to the cover and Silver kicked out of that. Honestly, I'm shocked. But Grizz just choking, showboating that overwhelming power that he has. And Sharkbait, Sharkbait, sensing blood in the water. And oh, hello, Silver. David Silver swimming in deadly waters right now with Sharkbait, Sharkbait, letting his temper get the best of him. Again, whenever you're in the ring with Sharkbait, you're always swimming deadly waters. And and Silver going after the eyes of Sharkbait. Doesn't matter who you are. Your eyes oh, are always one of your weakest spots on the body. And Silver just, just took him down. It only gets a two count. David Silver kind of astonished that he didn't get the win after dropping Sharkbait on his dorsal fin. Again, David Silver now tagging in Mardi Gras. And, and Mardi Gras, freshman in for his team against the bigger shark bait. But Mardi Gras got, has that, oh, has that experience advantage. And he just left an imprint of his hand on the back of shark bait. Drops the elbow. Marty Grawley, like a multi-time champion wherever he's been here in Louisiana. Oh, and a head of steam, and Mardi Gras just connected with Sharkbait, and Sharkbait goes down. Mardi Gras goes for the cover, and Grizz breaks up the pinning, the pinning combination. And you saw it, there was no pin, there was no tag. And now David Silver choking the life out of Sharkbait. You can see it clear as day. Come on, referee. Look at David Silver's foot. His leg on the throat of Sharkbait. David Silver 
just cho almost choking the life out of Sharkbait, but Sharkbait fighting back. Sharkbait representing the honor of Animal Planet. There's a tank to Grizz and David Silver, you can hear the screams of fright. He didn't want to be in the ring with Grizz, but he doesn't have a choice now. G-Money not too pleased about what's going on in the ring so far. Reversal there by David Silver. David Silver taking a little bit too much time though. Oh! That did not work. Oh, oh hello! Grizz dropping that elbow. Bringing that all the way from Texas. Goes for the cover. And Mardi Gras returns the favor. Sharpie now in the ring. Starting to break down here. All four men in the ring. And Mardi Gras with a cheap shot on Sharkbait. David Silver, at least David Silver and Grizz by themselves. Mardi Gras and Sharkbait, I'm sorry, are taking out Grizz with a big power slam, or clothesline rather, I'm sorry. Got so much action going on, Sharkbait taking it to Mardi Gras on the outside. Grizz a little bit upset that he thought it was a three count. Grizz needs to turn around and look at David Silver. David Silver with the silver lining. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is that? That was a fast count. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? a quick count on the referee's part. That was a quick count. The referee just screwed Grizz and Animal Planet. Oh, you, oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? This is flat out not right. Animal Planet got screwed. One thing I've done is right in BS. I've been getting a tag team partner. See you Sunday and have you go, boy. Let's see what Russia's all about right there. Re the return of the Dark Angels this Sunday? Lord knows we will not hear the end of this issue. I'm pretty sure when Wild Thing finds out what happened with his partner Grizz getting screwed here tonight, pretty sure he's not going to stand for it come this Sunday. Stoke Arts. My name's Andrew Weatherall. I'm Stoke Arts.